the Mauser 7184. Um, a lot of people made videos just shooting these guns. Uh, I'm going to try to make one to show you a little bit detailed on how the action and the uh, single shot magazine feed works. So I'm going to try to get into a little bit more detail. Alright, standard bolt action. Come up. Open it. There's your safety. These old Mausers only have a one position safety. Now this rifle has a single shot and a magazine feed. And that's controlled by this little lever here. And how it works is with the lever forward it is a single shot gun. Okay, round goes in, round comes out. Now, to move this, what you have to do is have to have the bolt open and back, and then this lever will move. To the rear, it's now magazine operated. You see the load gate pops up, and it will bring a cartridge up. So, and you can only move this lever while the bolt's back. If you try moving that, when the bolt's locked, it won't move. So, we'll fire a couple rounds in single shot. Okay, cut. Single shot, you just put a cartridge in there. Again, goes into the gate. Now, come over closer. Stop. Okay, we got the bolt back. Go to magazine feed. The lift gate drops when the bolt closes. So now you got the lift gate down. You take the cartridges and it's a tubular magazine. It loads kind of just like a shotgun, an 870 or something. You just put your cartridges up in until they get into the lock lever there. And they lock in the mag. And then the last one, you can just set one down in there. Then pull the bolt back. Oop. And now we'll magazine feed. Come out. Check the case. And then that rear would move, lifts up the loading gate, and then it goes. And that's how it works. That's what we got at 100 yards using a smokeless powder load with a Lyman bullet cast with wheel weights. Not too bad. And we had the second rifle which we had on this target. 
which is not too bad. Just a little more practice to get used to it, and we'd be right on center. All right, I had two of these, and this one here has been cut down at one time, shortened up. This actually shot a bit more straighter than a full-size version. This one shot a bit to the left. Of course, it's only like the third batch of cartridges. Now I'm going to try some black powder rounds, and we'll go down range and see what we get. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right, when shooting black powder in any of these old guns, there's a couple things you have to do. One is, once you fire your brass, you get a jug full of water, and you just drop these cases in a clean water. And the reason for that is, is black powder will corrode the brass. It'll damage the brass to where it's unusable. So you take your little water jug with you. And what, also, another thing is, you should always use a black powder lubricant, because the smokeless lubricant will build up in a barrel. And every four or five shots, I just scrub it out, run a patch through it, you know, use a uh, black powder solvent. And that way you don't get build up. You don't get a build up in there, which could lead to pressure problems. So I like every five shots to give it a little scrub, just to keep everything nice. There you go. Put a few more through it. So, when we use the smokeless load in the full size gun, our shots will over here where these little tape marks were. Either I'm getting better with the gun or whatever, but the black powder loads that I ran, I got a couple bulls, and they seem to, to shoot a tad bit better. But it's about the same spread. I'd say it really ain't much, it's probably just my shooting. Now with the short gun, it really liked the black powder loads. There they are right there, but that one, two, three, four, two in the bull. Nine ring and a couple flyers. I think when the residue gets built up, you start to get flyers because they didn't want to stop. So black powder loads worked out pretty good. And I think that's with uh, wheel weight bullets, a harder bullet. So I'll do some more experimentation and see. Okay, that's it for me.